Over 96% of the total amount of water on the planet is saline. As regards the rest of it, fresh water, 68% is frozen and on glasses, and the remaining 30% on the ground. It is the water from rivers and lakes, the smallest amount, that people draw on every day as a source. The water cycle is being affected by climate changes and also because water extraction has travelled in the last 50 years. Do you know how the water cycle works? The water on the Earth is distributed throughout oceans, continents and the atmosphere, on which there are changes and in continuous circulation. This circulation is called water cycle or hydrological cycle. This cycle is kept in motion thanks to the solar energy and gravity. It goes from the Earth's surface and enters the atmosphere as vapour and comes back to land and is liquid and solid. From the surface up to the atmosphere, this happens in the form of water vapour through evaporation. Direct from oceans, rivers, plants and animals transpiration, and through sublimation, which is the transition from solid to gas without going through liquid that takes place on the glacier's frozen surfaces. As it goes up, humid air becomes cooler and the vapor turns into water. This is called condensation. Drops join together and form clouds. These drops join together in bigger ones and continue becoming cooler. This gives rise to the air precipitation on the surface in a solid or liquid way. Upon their fall, the infiltration occurs when the water penetrates through the soil poles and then it evaporates from there again through plant transpiration or adjoins aquifers. Runoffs happen when the water slides through the surface of the land, doing it also in an underground circulation. In the case of snow and hail, they change into liquid through fusion. Once the water is on the surface, the hydrological cycle resumes. Did you know that oceans work in the absorption of carbon? It is the so-called carbon absorption cycle. This cycle is important because the ocean absorbs 25 to 30% of carbon dioxide. So the more it is emitted to the atmosphere, the more the ocean will absorb and the worse the consequences will be. At first sight, this absorption is positive as it reduces the intensity of climate change on the atmosphere, but carbon dioxide is absorbed in the ocean and causes an increase in its acidity as it combines with water. Because of this, seawater becomes corrosive on the shells and skeletons of mineral organisms, thus causing serious consequences which unbalance the marine ecosystem. We must not disrupt the natural water cycle. Remember to always make use of it responsibly. It is necessary to avoid carbon dioxide emissions, perform sustainable extractions and avoid water pollution.